Good morning, everyone. Well, good afternoon, because it's the afternoon, but uh, I am about to do the lawn. Uh, once I find my shoes, I'll do the lawn. But I've got the GoPro out, gonna get some cool GoPro shots. Uh, GoPro is probably my favorite camera that I own because I can strap it to anything, so it's pretty cool. But I'm gonna get the lawn done because I told my dad I would do it last week and never got around to it because I was so busy. So I'm gonna get that done. Uh, hopefully I don't sweat too much, but that's gonna happen. All right, step number one, I found my shoes. Next, uh, I have to put some gas in it, but I got the GoPro strapped on. Got a bunch of different connectors and stuff in this little bag over here. So, we'll see what kind of weird stuff I can get with the GoPro. Should be fun. Got the gas in. Uh, the hardest part for me is always figuring out, I got my iPod here. I gotta figure out what I wanna listen to while I mow the lawn. Cause I wanna be like, inspired to mow the lawn and I wanna be energized, but it's gotta be like the perfect, the perfect mixture of what I need. And it's always hard figuring it out, but I'll scroll through my thousands of songs and figure out what I want to listen to. And GoPro footage starts now. Look at the yard, everybody. It looks great. Uh, Hattie's frisbees are everywhere, but looking good after it gets cut. Oh, I gotta sweep all this and got a bunch of grass and stuff on the side. But once I finish that, I'm done. All showered up and probably not gonna do my hair tonight because I'm lazy. And it doesn't really take that much time. Hattie, leave your frisbee outside. Thank you. Uh, it doesn't really take that much time, but it takes enough time that I don't want to put the effort in. So, lazy hair today. All right, Hattie loves to play frisbee, but she's very bad at dropping it and staying away from it. So I'm trying to teach her. All right, drop it. All right, good girl, drop. Back up, stay, stay, nope, nope. Back up, stay there, stay. Oh! Went in the pool. Right here. <laughs> it's good therapy. <laughs> She's literally trimming the grass with scissors. Because um, I tried to come through here with the weed whacker earlier, but it's so thick. We just put all this grass down because Hattie messed all this this whole area up. So we just put all this new grass down and put in these new blocks. Well, we did seeds. And which grew in. they look cool, yeah. but the grass grew in so thick that I was trying to go through with the weed whacker and stuff and it just wasn't, it was way too thick. So yeah. I couldn't get it, it was very uneven. So, um, we're sitting out here with some scissors. You should try it. Appar it's apparently it's therapeutic. <laughs> with two pairs of scissors, we're really starting to knock this out. We're going 
few blades at a time. I really feel like a hairdresser. <laughs> yeah. Just uh. And you admitted that it is therapeutic. It is pretty. It is pretty therapeutic. <laughs> it's just very, uh, very time consuming. But it's gonna look awesome when we're done. That's the only thing that's keeping me going. I know it's gonna look great. Uh, and I and it's also keeping me going knowing that I don't have to do the entire lawn like this. <laughs> just this one section. So yep. shouldn't take too long. We just finished. It's a. Not bad. Buddy. It's a nice cut. It's. <laughs> It's very nice, but we, we realized very quickly that we're not cut out to be hairdressers. <laughs> we'd have it's, pissed off clients. Yeah, we'd have very, very pissed off clients right now. <laughs> it's nice. I would, I would definitely not pay for it, but it was nice for me. It was very therapeutic. I would pay to sit here and do this for a little while. Cut all this. This is all that we got. With scissors. Hand cut. That's the way to do it, but we're just not that good at it yet. All right, I got the Eno set up. So, I'm gonna relax a little bit. Should have a good sunset coming soon. If uh, there, no, camera's not gonna focus on it. But, gonna Eno. My goal for the summer, I'm reading Walt Disney right now. It's about Walt Disney, obviously. A uh, little biography about him. Because if you don't know, we are Disney freaks and we love Disney. Um, we're actually going early June to Universal for a few days and then we're going to Disney's Vero Beach Resort, so You guys will should get excited for that because we're excited for it, so um, But my goal for the summer is to read read a few books. I don't know. I'll put a number on it Let's say three books. I want to read three books this summer because I love reading. I just uh, don't know it yet Me and Hattie are really enjoying this weather Well, we think Hattie may have got bit by a snake or something. Which snakes are happen to be my biggest fear. But I got the machete. And he's the only man in the house. And I'm the only man in the house. So I have to go see if there's a snake down here. Which is uh, slightly terrifying for me. Didn't find a snake, but Hattie's acting really, really weird. Yeah, we're gonna take the she's, uh, she's just very slow and not really with any emotion, so we're gonna try to bring her up to the vet real quick. Well, we're at the emergency pet care. There was a blood coming from her nose when we got here, so. They brought her back to look at her and everything, so hopefully it'll all be okay. Well, we are in the exam room. They said she's gonna be okay, so. It's just swelling. But it's big, she said. It's she really said her. Her nose. We noticed, or they noticed when she got in here that it was on her nose. Yeah, on the nose. They road. said her uh, her nose is swelling up quite a bit. So they said she'll be fine though. Just got to give her some painkillers and stuff like that. So. And this is Hattie's second occurrence with allergic reaction. It was bees. She had a bee last time. Yeah, which that I was, think uh, was like last August. Her whole body swol was swollen with mumps and <laughs> all kinds of crazy stuff. So she's definitely gonna be a problem getting into stuff. Yes, she's very curious. Very curious dog. We are home without Hattie. They're gonna keep her overnight. Uh, so what happened, we were throwing the Frisbee like usual in the backyard, uh, and then Hattie went to grab the Frisbee and, and something. noticed something next to it, so she started staring at it. And we could tell immediately that there was, there was something not normal, because uh, she usually, like if it was something small, she wouldn't have bothered with it, but we could tell something was different, so... Going at it. Yeah, she was like walking around it and trying to go at it, so we told her to get back, but eventually we couldn't get down there quick enough, and she yiped, and we saw something fly up in the air, and it looked like a snake, and fell back down, so she went back and grabbed the machete, and you guys saw that, and didn't find anything, but brought her to the animal hospital. I don't understand why these animal hospitals, like, why the doctor comes in and he starts off with, well, um, as we can see, her, uh, she looks fine now, but, uh, the venom itself will cause blood to separate and veins to separate and liquid to come out and all this. Like, they give you the worst thing and then they go, and that'll cause swelling. And it's like, what do you, uh, why? why? Why don't you just say, 
This is the cause of swelling, or I'm, gonna, I'm about to tell you what, why your dog is swelling. You give me this terrible explanation of veins popping and splitting, and then you tell me it's just what's causing swelling. And then, and then he has a sign off on if she goes into cardiac arrest, if we want them to perform CPR or not. What the heck? Why would you not perform CPR? Why, am I, why do we have to sign off on this? So we had like a five minute conversation about the fact that she could go into cardiac arrest, which terrifies us even more. So they're gonna keep her overnight. Uh, her blood pressure looks fine, but her red blood cell count was dropping. So they wanna, well we- It was low. Yeah, it was low. So we figured keep her overnight just in case. We have to get her by seven in the morning, so. Hopefully it'll all work out. It's just Hattie's a pain in the butt, and she goes after she goes right? after things. And I figure mm -hmm. I'm assume this is gonna happen to us a lot with Hattie. <laughs> We've had her for almost two years now, and she's already it's had bee stings and yeah. all kinds of stuff. So second issue. But we are probably gonna have a not so fun night because we'll be worrying about her, and it's very quiet in the house. Plus, I can leave my shoes out and not have to worry about Hattie eating them. So that's a good thing, but. The fact that I can do that, yeah, I would rather have to pull my shoes up, so. But, gonna have a quiet night, and I will let you guys know in the morning. As soon as I know what's happening, I'll let you guys know. I will see you guys tomorrow. So long for now.